Who that? Who that? Who that? Who that? What's happening? What's up? What's up, my Who that family? Shout out to everybody out there in the Who that nation, dog. Uh, it's game day, bro. It's game day. It's game day. It's game day. Uh, before I get into that, let me recap on what happened Thursday night, bro. First of all, shout out to Ross Jackson, John Hendricks, man. Second in Saints, locked on Saints, uh, uh, Saints block party, dog. Them some of the best dudes you ever want to meet, bro. And I'm a person that go out vibes. If your vibe off, I really can't mess with you, dog. It was no bad vibes in the in the building. That's why I say it felt like a family reunion, dog. Like you talking to your uncles, cousins, sisters, brothers. You know what I'm saying? It was like. It was like family, dog. No matter the color, you know what I'm saying. It was it was all gravy in that bitch. You heard me, dog. Ross is so down to earth, big dog. Ross is a genuine person, man. John too, both of them. But these are both genuine people, dog. Like they here for the people, dog. That's why I gotta say it was no bad vibes in there. Like, like I said, I go off of energy and vibes and. and and, and you know what I'm saying? And, and it wasn't none of that, dog. It was all love, bro. That that night made me want to just visit, just want to see everybody in these podcasts. I be hollering at. I want to holler. At, I want to meet Jerry. I want to be Big. I want to meet Big Q. Uh, Hootie. Uh, uh, Slim was him. Uh, TJ Jones, the host. I want to meet everybody, dog. If Ross and John are the examples of what these podcasters are like, bro, I want to meet everybody and I want to meet all the family members, dog. Not gonna lie, bro, it was a great feeling, man. They gave away prizes and gifts. You know what I'm saying? I want a, uh, a bucket hat, a lunch bag, and a and a shelf outfit. You know, I like to get down on the grill. And, you know what I'm saying? But I uh, I switched the the lunch bag with uh, a lady that was in there. They was cool as hell, man. Everybody was everybody was cool, man. You chop it up with, you never know people. When you see this on somebody's head, you automatically draw to them. And this place was everybody was drawn together, dog. And it was like a it was a lovely thing, bro. I ain't gonna lie. Hey, we gotta do this more often, dog. I'm from Louisiana. And I moved to California. And uh I go back and forth. I go back to, you know, Louisiana. I go back and forth all the time, but I gotta get out to uh, New Orleans, dog, and, and and meet everybody, man. This 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 was this was lovely. This was great, dog. Hey, like I say, I, me and me and Ross chopped it up at the end of the night, man. Ross is a cool ass dude. If you got any ill intent or any ill feelings toward Ross, then you a whole ass mom. You a whole ass person. Ross is the most genuine person you're going to talk to, dog. It, it's like... It's like you're talking to somebody you've known for 10 years plus that you just met that night. Within that length of time. You feel? You, you get what I'm saying? You hear me? But yeah, hey. Salute, man. I, hey. That was... Hey, we got to do that more often, dog. Real, real talk, bro. We got to do that more often. Uh... I couldn't get that many pictures, Jerry, because, like I said, I was I was enjoying myself, dog. A lot of time when you enjoying yourself, the phone don't even come out because you enjoying yourself. I mean, I, I was enjoying myself talking Saints football. I didn't care if it was one person, two person, three person, four. You know what I'm saying? I was enjoying myself, dog. I was in a I was in my own bubble. I talk, I told Ross, I live in my own bubble. If I don't know you, I don't mess with you. If you ain't got this on your head. I don't really have nothing to relate to you or conversate with you about. You hear me? That's just me. I, I do. It's different in California. And, and, and that's why I stay in my own bubble, my own world. If I was in Louisiana, I'd be this way, that way, all in the streets. You know what I'm saying? That just, I just stay in my own bubble. I stay in my own land. I mind my damn business. You hear me? That's what I do. So if you see me in the streets in California, then you see me. But if you don't, then you don't. Because a lot of times I'm in the house, dog. I, like I said, I stay out the way. And I stay in my own damn lane. And I told it to Ross, like, look, that's why I appreciate podcasts like you, Big Q, TJ, Hoodie. Because we listen to y'all, dog. And, 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 and 
I was telling Ross the reason we, we started listening to the Saints podcast. Well, the reason I started listening to the Saints podcast was because at the Saints game, they never covered the Saints. The national media was kissing the Cowboys' ass when Brady was here. They was kissing the New England Patriots' ass or they talking about Green Bay Packers. Three teams they always fucking covered. I'm like, we just beat a team 735 to two, but they ain't even covering it. And I was like, damn. So I started going to YouTube, and the first person I found was uh, Big Q. And I was hooked ever since, dog. So I like I told Ross, if you got if you are if you do Saints content, I subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. I don't care if you got one follower, I'm subscribing, dog. I don't care if you got two videos, I'm subscribing because you're talking about my team. Squad up to my the Saints, you hear me? And I love that. But uh, yeah, man, I told Ross that's that's why that's why I started it, man. That's why I started doing my my channel. Also because also I started my channel too because it's a point too. But wait, there's more. Because uh a lot of times at the games, dog, when you lose or when we lose and we see the problem, we want to get out and frustrate something. And a lot of times the podcasters don't be having the lines open to talk. So I want to vent to somebody or something. So my phone is there to say, hey dog, I hear you, I got you. You remember like and I be letting it go. I let it rip. I let it drag. I drag it through the river. Uh, I do that, man. You know what I'm saying? But, uh, yeah, man. It's game day. It's preseason, but it's game day to me. Like, I love football. I love the New Orleans Saints, dog. This right here, this this in my blood is, you know what I'm saying? It, it, is, it, is, it is me. If you see me, you're going to see me with a Florida Leon every time. In my car, from my car to my closet to my everything. My toothbrush, everything, dog. Everything. You know it's me when you see that Florida Lee. How about that, Ryan? Huh. How about that, James Winston, my knick-knack, patty uh, give a dog a bone? Nah, nah. When you see that Florida Lee, you know it's T. Yeah. But uh, let's get to this game, man. Preseason. I'm really not looking forward to no big scoring, no who gonna win and who gonna lose type thing, you hear me? I'm looking for who gonna make this roster to back up our first stringers, the first team. Because you gotta understand, preseason for me is to see if the if the first, if somebody in the first string go down, who gonna back this guy up It's gonna give us quality production? Who gonna back this guy up that's gonna step right in and fill in that gap? That's why I look at preseason, not to see, oh, we won or we lost or we, we did. Nah, 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 nah. I don't look at preseason like that because it's preseason. So you, you you trying to see, these guys trying to make the team. A lot of these guys ain't going to even make the damn team. They preseason champs. <sighs> preseason champs, but they ain't going to make the team, dog. So I'm trying to see, and I, and I keep, I got me a Saints notebook and a Saints pen, and I take names down to who was doing good and who wasn't doing good. You know what I'm saying? That's just, that's just the... Through three the three pieces of games, I do that shit. So I I, I want to see who gonna be productive, who gonna be who gonna step up. Wide receiver room, cause we only got Rasheed, Shahid, and Chris Olave. And I'm telling you, dog, that ain't enough. Like the lady said, like the mama said on Friday, that ain't enough. like that, like Chris Tucker said on Friday, that ain't enough. Mickey Loomis, like the mama said on Friday, you need to make it enough. We need to make this. We need to we need to do something. When I say make it enough, I don't mean just you who we got. I mean, you need to get somebody. Somebody need to step up or go get somebody that's going to that's gonna fill in that. Because we dog. A.T. Perry, I ain't really heard too much from you from camp. Uh, it's one dude, I can't think of his name. Was it Thornton or something? I, I'm not sure. Don't don't shoot don't shoot me. I'm just, I don't know this cat yet. He knew. I'm really saying, who that? Who that? No, who, who that for real? Yeah, so, uh. I need a third. I need a. I need a receiver. I, I'm looking for the receivers. Somebody in the receiving room to step up big, and the tight end room because the tight ends have been very quiet. I don't know who's the the big dog in the tight end room. I, I really want a uh, Hulker. Hulk smash. Oh shit! My bad. My bad. Y'all good? Y'all. Did you bump your head? I ain't bump mine either. Uh. Yeah. Uh. I want Hoker to step up. I like Hoker. He reminds me of a Jeremy Shockey. Not saying he's going to be Jeremy Shockey, but he kind of reminds me of Jeremy Shockey, the way he played rough and don't give up on plays and stuff. You know what I'm saying? It's hard to get him down. Uh, also, this O-line. 
I really want to see this O-line, how they're going to protect the quarterback. Because if this O-line is trash, well, I hate to tell y'all, we finna get a Toyota, a Geo Prism, a, a Chevette. We finna get an old ass car again. And I'm, I, I'm telling you, my pressure can't be sitting on God's front door talking about God let me in my pressure up here because Derek Carr down there doing what he did last year. And he said, oh, oh, we're excited about the playbook. We're just running around, we're doing this, we're doing that. And, and, and I love it, I love it. And I got the playbook. I want to hear that word salad, dog. If Derek Carr is still looking like a goddamn scooter, he got to go. F that car, we should have bought a scooter. If the other looking like a scooter, please try Hainer or Rabbit. Just give him a shot. You never know. Because I'm telling you, Derek Carr, you've been in the league too long to be looking like a goddamn pogo stick at this point. 11 years? And this is why I don't give you no excuses, dude. Because C.J. Stroud came in the league as a rookie and went to the playoffs in his first goddamn and you've been in the league 11 years, you want some excuses? Nah, dog. Nah, dog. You want excuses? Go to church, homie. This Saints football. We ain't got time for no excuses. We, we, we went from winning. Well, we went. Okay, well, I'm a Saints fan from back in the day. We went from losing dr dramatically and drastically and just horribly to winning to now losing again. And Dennis Allen, you, Dennis Allen, you know your, you know your nuts over that fire. You done, you done grew a little. You, me and no, when you stressing. Your little stubble come out. You look a little rough around the edge. Dennis Allen look a little rough around the edge because he know his ass. His ass got a little. He 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 sat down one day and saw a cigarette lighter on his seat. Like what the? Hey, who cigarette lighter? That's yours. Because if you don't get it together, we gonna fire it up in your seat. Gonna be hot, my boy. You heard me? That's your cigarette lighter. You know what I'm saying? So uh, I'm looking. I'm I'm evaluating the day. I ain't really looking forward to. Winning and, winning and losing. I'm looking forward to who going to step up in that spot. If one person, if the number one, somebody in the number one go down, who in the number two going to step up and still give us the same production? That's what I'm looking for. And that's it. But I'm going to holler at y'all in a little bit. I'm going to get on the, uh, not the grill. I want the grill, but it's, it's a little bit too hot out here for me. And I'm from Louisiana, so I should, but I don't, I be telling people, they be like, you from Louisiana, you don't, you used to the heat. Bitch, we don't just stand in the sun. We don't just, Sit outside and be like, yeah, I'm taking all this heat like I'm an X-Man. I can absorb all the heat. Nah, no, nigga. We got eight season fans. We like to be cool too, you heard me? Shit. But uh, I'll let y'all uh, during the game, after the game and all that, and tell you what I saw, like I say, you heard me? Uh, like I say, shout out to Ross Jackson, John Hendricks, man. Hey. Uh, and uh, Saints Black Party, man. Hey. Like I say, dog, when you talk to a bunch of Saints fans, man, it's like talking to your family. If it's a, if it's a old, like it was a little old white man in there. It's like talking to a, a brother or a, a family member, dude. It wasn't even about no color or race. It was just all love in that bitch. You heard me? So I saw, I shout out the suit to everybody. You know what I'm saying? That's who that nation, who that family, dog. Hey, but I speak for everybody when I say this. I don't want my blood pressure sitting on God's front door. I want God to say, T, I knew it was your blood pressure again, because who played? Derek Carr? You know he tripping. You know what I'm saying? Who that for life? 